This afternoon I'm down in a little township called Turden, about uh, half an hour drive from Melbourne. Now we're sitting on the pier and we're, only, we're not targeting anything but little mullet, little bait size mullet for live bait. Now there's no size limit on mullet, so they make a perfect live bait for things like mulloway, snapper and any other big species you get in Western Port. Now they've actually already caught a couple, I got down here a bit late so I'm going to get my rod set up. We're using chicken for bait, chicken thigh, not chicken breast, chicken thigh, because the thigh is a little bit tougher and it lasts longer on the hook. I didn't even know you could use it for mullet until Jesse showed me one day and geez, did he catch a few. So that's what we're doing. We're going to keep them as live for as long as possible and head out to a, another, another estuary system later on and hopefully, hopefully we can get a few. And we've just got to fight through the toadfish because there's a lot of them down here. Because we're fishing for mullet today, I'm just going to show you guys a cheap way of making burley. You don't really have to spend a fortune on burley. I've got a dollar loaf of bread, a couple of 80 cent cans of uh, cheap cat food, and a little bit of tuna oil. I've got my burly bucket here, and, it, and it's, it's really simple. I mean, mullet, mullet are pretty easy to catch when they're around, as long as you've got the right size hooks. So you just you rip up your bread. Throw it in your burly pot. Oh, yum. Seafood cocktail, my favourite. Now we, we just sort of mince that up a bit in the can. Yum. Oh, look at that, hey? It's making me hungry. Now obviously you're going to have rubbish. Make sure you take it home with you guys. There's nothing worse than coming down to a pier or a fishing spot and seeing someone's rubbish that's been left everywhere. People like that to ruin it for everyone. Okay, so there you go. Just the secret ingredient, but a beautiful tuna oil. <laughs> like the smell of that, Kerry. <laughs> right, that's awesome. All right, we've got our burly. We've got our chicken breast, sorry, we've got a chicken thigh, and uh, we're ready to go. There's one funny thing when I come through Turidan, I've got to laugh because every time I come through here, there's this big statue of a dolphin fish. Now, I don't know what member of the council thought, hey, let's put a dolphin fish in the middle of Turidan because they catch heaps of dolphin fish here. I mean, they pull them in on the piers, out in the bay, everywhere. <laughs> yeah, if it was... Uh, I suppose if it was my choice, it would have been a snapper, a gummy shark, or even a giant squid. But, you know, dolphin fish, yeah. Let's, let's put a bit of Marky Marky up in the main street of Turidan. So these are the size hooks we're using. They're only tiny. Tiny little guys. If you can see that, that's very hard. And we're just with a tiny bit of chicken with a bit of tuna oil on it. And that's it. Tiny bit of chicken with some tuna oil on it. It's doing the job. I'm basically just casting straight into the burley trail. Or should I say the toadfish trail. There we go. <laughs> Coming in left, right and centre. Yeah, you're down in the burley trail. <laughs> yeah. I bought it up and there's a toadfish on the bottom hook, but I saw a mullet come up for the second one. Oh no, Tony come off, that's good. So they're down here, and there's plenty of them. We're on low tide at the moment too, so here we go. Mullet in it. Oh, no, little Trevelli. Well, he's not the live bait we want. Can you use him as live bait? Nah, they're too small and there's a size limit on them, so we um, we don't want to be keeping undersized fish. So there we go. Look at that little guy. Isn't he cool? Little Trevelli. 
Anyway, back you go, mate. We want mullet. All right, about time we got rid of the toadies. We got a little yakka, actually. A little yellow tail scat and a, and a mullet. Well, a mullet's definitely what we want. Can you take both of those for bait? Oh, the yakka back. Yep. Yeah, so that's good. We're getting what we came here for. Mullets. Yeah, a little one. Beautiful. Here we go. Ah, see, we only put the burly down two minutes ago and bang, they're already on. It's two in a row. I've oh, hooked him twice. The bottom hook and top hook. I'm just fishing them with little Palinoster rigs with little size 12 hooks. Well, they're the hooks I'm using. What size are you using, eights? Yeah. Yeah. So, whoop! You nearly got him straight in the bucket. Didn't you? <laughs> you got him? Yeah. There you go. Beautiful. That's the size mullet we want to catch. Beautiful little bait size. Just got to keep them alive as long as possible. If we don't use them all, they go back in the water. Alright, there you go. Now, basic principle with any fishing rod and reel, hold the line here, put the bail arm over, and just let the line out like that. Now you can catch me some bait. Go for it, mate. Father and son down here using little hand lines trying to catch the fish. So I just gave him a rod and he's pulled in a nice little mullet straight away. Magic bait. <laughs> it's dead. Well done, mate. Would you want to keep him? Nah, we've got nowhere to store him. I'm not just trying back, or if you guys want to keep him. Yeah, mate, we need some wild bait. So. Beautiful. All right, I'll have another go, mate. Can you even kept the bait too. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, see, I got I got all the locals catching my bait for me. It's great. <laughs> Really, hey, good work, buddy. He's catching all my fish for me. <laughs> Wait, settle down. A little bit bigger than a bait size, hun, but. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> Seriously. Can you catch a smaller one next time? Oh my god. Slippery <laughs> little sucker. Grab him around the head, around the head. <laughs> That's it. Throw him in the bucket. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. It's a great little spot if you want to bring the kids to come down and fish, especially if you're catching little fish like this. You get get some, like I said, some cheap burley. Get a burley trail going on the outgoing tide. He seems to work better. I suppose less water, more fish in one area. Don't know if that works, but it's working today. And the tuna oil seems to really work well. Afternoon to wherever you are at the moment watching this. Myself and Lindsay, how you going? Good, Michael, and yourself? Good, mate. Mm -hmm. Lindsay's a skipper of a boat, well, a boat, a barge, this massive structure we've got in the water here in the township of Turidan called Tidemaster Charters and Cruisers. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, you do all sorts of things. You go out fishing, you go out, just go out for sightseeing, things like that? Yeah, we do um, fishing. Um, Environmentals, birthday parties. Um, well, it's quite a it's quite a big boat. It's, yeah, you so fit a lot of people well, on well, it. Well, we're licensed for forty. So forty. Yeah. Wow, yeah. we haven't got but, forty here today. No, we don't fish forty. <laughs> we fish a dozen. A uh, dozen, yeah. yeah well, it's probably yeah. very comfortable. Mm. Well, we're in a little fishing village called Turidan. We're only forty five minutes from the CBD in Melbourne. It's a great place to come. It's got it's in it's the entrance to one of my um, favourite little estuary systems in Melbourne, and that's Western Port. Now, there's a big variety of fish out here, mate, but we're heading in towards winter. So we're already setting ourselves up for a fail today, aren't we? No, <laughs> no. We, we, uh, targeting squid yes. because 
you know, that's really what's here at the moment. There is, there is a lot of big squid around Western Port at the moment, and Port Phillip. Perfect day for it, no wind, so uh, we should day. go all right. Yeah? Mm. You confident? Optimistic. <laughs> I love it, optimistic. <laughs> so am I, mate. Right, let's yeah. get straight into this because we've got a bit of a cruise out this channel, right. don't we? Yes, that's Excellent. right. Thanks, yeah. Lindsay. Okay. A little bit of information about the boat. Uh, firstly, to introduce ourselves, I'm Lindsay. Got my son on board today, Joel. He's assisting me. Uh, in the highly unlikely event that we need them, we've got life jackets for everybody under these blue seats, but never been out of their packets because we're so in sheltered hold waters. On the tug. Oh, that's the way to go. <laughs> uh, that's how it works. We're, we're in sheltered waters, and, and you know when you see it at low tide, you know how many mud banks there are, and, and so that we've, if we've had, ever had a problem, we pull up on a mud bank and sort it out. Yep. Toilet's in that white shed behind the life ring, and. Uh, when you press the button, it's a marine title, it will sound like a helicopter taking off, but it's meant to sound like that, you haven't broken it. Yep. Um, and tea and coffee there for, uh, you know, that ozone stay hot all day, and uh, and if you like a beverage, we can help you with that as well. And there's fresh water there, complimentary water for you, uh, so no one dehydrates. Awesome. So we'll get underway and uh, Let's do it. catch some nice squid, I hope. Let's get into it. Sounds good. Nearly pulled up here on the tire bank to get some uh, squid jigs out on the water, and I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm that excited. We've got Doug from Tonic here today. How are you going, Doug? Good, thanks, Mike. How are you? Good, mate. Thanks for joining us and coming out for a fish today. My pleasure. Mate, it is so bright. I'm glad you came because you brought all the sunnies for us to try on. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> it's as bright as anything. I was trying to look out the back, but without sunglasses, I just can't see. Well, you know I'm the one with the, uh, the green mirror, the lovely yes. green mirror. Yes. You told me to get these red mirrors today. Now, for yeah. what reason? Well, these are very unique. It's grey based, red mirror, and it's got a three colour integrated polarising filter in the system. So I can see the squid better in the world. Very unique. It is a hell of a squid. Alright, well, these are going to be my new squidding glasses. Well, I'll let you know by the end of the trip. No problems at all. Alright, no worries. Alright, well, uh, looks like we're almost there, mate. Yeah, so it's exciting. Yeah, I'm days. expecting some big squid. Don't expect any. Well, I mean, you <laughs> promised me some big squid. <laughs> I said squid, I didn't say Ah, big. okay. <laughs> all right, well, the rods are ready to go. We're yeah. about to pull up, so let's get these bad boys in the water. No problems at all. Well, there's no squid around, we're definitely going to have a few whiting baits out, that's for sure. I just want to take home a feed. The motors are slowing down. Time is approaching. It's a good drift, guys. It's a very good drift. So you go Actually, off go quick, but go any, side. any side you want. Yeah. Right. Any side you want. You'll see him come up for it. If you see a squid come up for it, let the squid jig drop, yep. and it will nail it on the drop. Right. And when it does, keep the tension on it and hold on. And if there's any weed on it, get it off because they've got the best eyesight in the world, and they will spot a bit of weed on it and will not touch it. Generally. Yeah, I could see him. Beautiful. Look at that. He just went straight into the grass. Yeah, he's amazing. Well, he's, he's a nice. Awesome. He's a nice. He was the biggest flounder I've ever seen. Have, we, have we got, a, have we got a, a spear to get in? <laughs> <laughs> That's a cracker flounder. You don't see many of them out here. You're like, go, you go in, Mike, and get him. Where's Paul? <laughs> we just saw the biggest flounder. That was probably about that big, just underneath us. Beautiful. Unfortunately, we couldn't get it on camera because it wouldn't have got the camera quick enough. He went straight into the weed. But that was great. See, that's the beauty of having these sunglasses on. You can see straight down. He was amazing. And we're in nearly three metres of water, and we saw, we can see the bottom clear. Yeah. Okay, so we've just loaded up all the squid jigs. Everyone's having a flick in the water, and I'm going to try and pull a squid to the boat. Now, what I normally always do is have a static jig over the back, sitting about mid-water. Oh, toadies. So that way, the <laughs> toadies will always come up. And uh, that will just sit there off the back of the boat and just dangle about mid-water. So that way if we're bringing squids to the boat and we don't see them, which is going to be pretty hard today because it's so beautifully and clear, 
and we throw the lure back out and the squid stays around it, it generally hits the static one at the back of the boat. Now normally, that's the first rod to go off, but we'll see what happens today, because we've got a few guys flicking some squid jigs around. Sorry, Joel, I just saw you stole your squid, mate. I caught you a bear. Look at that. He's not a bad squid at all. He has. On the, the white black magic jig with the uh, blue eyes. He's a good sized calamari. We've been working pretty hard for him this morning, and uh, it's the first one that's come up. And Joel, the skipper's son, it's like, there's one following me jig. So what do we all do? Come through, the jig's right in front of him. Sorry, mate. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you nailed it. We've got one. I promise you a squid, Doug. We've got one. We can go home now. That's all I can say. Look at this little guy. Hey, a little guy. I think my jig's bigger than him. <laughs> That's it. They got a little beak inside their mouths. Hold it up for me, brother. Do I stretch him out or? <laughs> you probably should stretch him. I don't know if, how many viewers would have seen the uh, flashback we had in season one. Now, this is my cousin. Now, this is a man that caught a squid on a pilchard on a gummy line. Yeah, we are fishing for gummies. That was the last squid I caught. That was yeah. the last squid you caught. So that was about four and years it was, ago. It was bigger than this one. <laughs> A bit bigger than that one. Well, maybe I am using the wrong jig today. <laughs> no, no, you got the right jig on, mate. Oh, well, that's two in the boat so far. And you know what? They're the ones I prefer because they're great baits. And I'm actually going fishing later tonight for a bigger fish. So Perfect. I'm going to use that as bait tonight. I reckon you'll be lucky with this one. I hope so. Luke, do you want to be honest? Yeah, right. Okay, It is smaller than my last one. <laughs> I'm putting them on. Put them on your squid jig, you reckon? Well, that's not even a calamari ring for me. <laughs> yeah, they're beautiful. White meat. Nice, no, they're gorgeous. <laughs> and you said you were going to catch a leather jacket? Yep. Oh, you listen to them. They're always. Watch out for the spike there. But, but they are, can be quite they're beautiful fish. <laughs> Got him. It's only a baby. Uh, quick as he can. He's only a little taker. Oh, he's on. Yeah, he's, he's only there. a little. He's only a little one. It's like he's only dessert. No, right, Skip. That, that little guy. He's a great bait, mate. He'll be perfect for me tonight. Look at that. Straight in the net, like a good little squidly. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, I could see him chasing me from out there. It was amazing. We're well, getting all the big ones. He's not bad. Oh, he's just huge, isn't he? Hey, like I said, this is like a, a dessert. Yeah, yeah exactly. Turn into a yo yo. There you go. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, you <laughs> so it's a bungee squid. It's only a dessert. But anyway, it's something. There we go. Good one. He's not bad. Hang on. It's all right. Nice. We have another one on the boat. There's on the pink a, jig the, again. The pink one, the pink's the pink. <laughs> He's not a bad one either. It's hard to do on a That is very hard to do, mate. That is talent right there. Yeah. And you saw it here from Luke Walker. <coughs> the Toad Wrangler. <laughs> hey? It's not a bad price, mate. Oh, yeah, it's a little nice. bit better. Oh, that's a, yeah, now you're on it. That's a beautiful squid. Nice. Yeah. nice work. Joel, well done, mate. He's a little bit bigger than the one you stole from me earlier, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I reckon he's about a centimetre smaller, just, just saying. But 
<laughs> nah, it's a good one, mate. Good on you. On the pink one. Yeah. I was just talking to Adam. Adam goes, go pink, go pink. He goes, no worries, mate. <laughs> Bit of calamari. Yeah. Better learn how to cook it. Not easy, mate. 20 seconds in a frying pan. I don't know, maybe a nice beer better though. That's where the real recipe comes in. <laughs> I just like the beer. What do you reckon, Doug? <laughs> I, I like the beer too. It's awesome. Well, it's come to that time of the day, the one last cast has happened about 20 times, and I still might get another one in before the motor starts, but uh, Lindsay, thanks heaps for bringing us out, mate. Pleasure, absolute yeah, pleasure. You really are a gentleman, and um, you've done really well. You, your son, the Decky, Joel, I'll slow you squid, mate, sorry about that, but um, next time, mate, it's all part of the service, isn't it? Um, you cooked us a great feed, mate, thank you. That was awesome, it hit the spot, I'll tell you what. You know, that, you know, as you can see, I've got graze in a good paddock, so. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful day out here. The, this, this vessel is fantastic. If you want to come out here with, with a group of people, uh, boys or girls, bucks night, hens night. Hens night, are you getting me yeah, hens yeah. night? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Old or young, it's very comfortable. Enough room to swing two cats, mate, yep. not just one. And it's like fishing out of your lounge room. <laughs> there you go, you heard it first. Now, this, the fishing was a bit average today. Yeah. We only got six squid, but that's okay, because uh, that's one each. I might get two, you guys can do <laughs> None for Luke. <laughs> sorry Luke, sorry mate. Next yes, time buddy, next time. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next waterway.